<laughs> All right, greetings and salutations. My name is Comic Fire, and welcome back for more Dragon Ball Z Boost Fury. Day two of the uploading flood. First, Trunks has some experience we can use. Well, I'm gonna start building up his power. We never actually use his energy, though, so. Hey, watch where you're going! That's improper punctuation there. There's no comma. Pardon me, I was being chased by the mummy. Mummy? Yes, by Jove, this place is cursed! The Seven Star Dragon Ball. Alright, so we gotta go inside of Kyodai Pyramid here. And here's a new enemy. The Mummy. Now they have an interesting little power. They'll shoot tape at you. Which will slow you down. Fortunately, they aren't too strong. So I'll go Super Saiyan to get that speed boost that I love so much. Now the raised uh, bits of floor here... Oh, here's another new enemy. They'll shoot things at you. I don't know if they actually hurt you, but... Now here's the thing about these guys. They can't die. They're like dry bones. Actually, wait a minute. Alright, so... Uh, 705... Oh yeah, they do 10 damage. Now if you get near one of these, one of the uh, sarcophagi, they'll, uh, a mummy will be released. I think there's a sarcophagi. Sarcophagus, plural. Because you can't really say sarcophaguses. And hey, these mummies are sophisticated too. Now this one won't open until you defeated both of the mummies in here. Or I had to press A. Thank you, lad. The mummy was making a risible show of me. We've rescued one of Dr. Challenger's men. Alright, that's one down. Three to go. Oh, here we go. This is my least favorite dungeon of the game, I'd have to say. Because of how lengthy it is. This is easily the longest dungeon in the game. Well, maybe not easily, but... It's definitely the least fun to go through, because there's a lot of puzzles. I don't think you get any experience for knocking them out, either. These guys are just here to serve as an annoyance, and they have a stronger brother later on, too. Well, I really can't call it a brother, it's just a palette swap. And I had a lot of fun doing this, especially yesterday. Yesterday was amazing. Uploading, listening to some Megadeth I've never heard before. Making sandwiches in between, uh, uploading, going outside a few times during uploading. Now, here's an invisible floor. I forgot how to move. Alright, we go down here. Thanks for lending me a hand. I like the cut of your jib. Alright, half of them down. But remember, getting all of Dr. Challenger's men is only half the deal. We also have to find the headdress of Farron, uh, Toten Hentep or something. Actually, I forgot. I played this game so many times and I forgot what it was. It's a major plot. Well, not really a major plot point, it's just something they, uh, 
We're in. Alright, cool. Now we get the Flame Kamehameha level 2. It has a fourth link to it. Okay, let's go down here. Or is that how he entered? I think that's actually how he entered, so I'm gonna go back. This is probably gonna be a two, if not a three-parter. It shouldn't be a three-parter, though. This is more than likely gonna be a two-parter, though. This is, uh... Annoying. Alright, well, Trunks isn't really benefiting from the uh, armbands much anymore, so I'm gonna toss on Pilaf's gloves, because they have a uh, pretty good boost. Uh, alligator loafers and the snorkel. Mm, isn't that a lovely sum? Imagine how much we would do if we were Super Saiyan. I just like the Super Saiyan because it gives you such a big speed boost and you kind of like want to move pretty fast in this game. Alright, save here. Now we have to go find all the ruby switches in the dungeon. I don't think they have a set amount of HP either. Maybe they do. And they do, I have never noticed it, because I don't actually try to actually fight these guys. Another ruby switch. Oh crap. Yay, we got them all, but they came back. So, we're going to avoid those guys like the plague that probably spawned them. And have another little puzzle. And we'll find a secret passageway. No, we won't. I'm not actually down. Uh, so I got Sonic Adventure 2 last night. I'm just playing that mostly all night. Good fun. Good fun. Wait a minute. There we go. I also got Pokemon uh, Coliseum, Pokemon XD, and Dragon Quest VIII. I want to do a blind LP of at least one of those. Probably XD. I always wanted to play Coliseum as a kid, but I never had a GameCube. It's kind of hard to play a GameCube game without a GameCube. And if you have no friends that have GameCubes. This is where ghosts get annoying. You can fall through these floors, and they will knock you back into those floors and deal no damage while they're just wasting your time. These enemies are specifically built to waste your time. So you kind of got to be careful, or else you'll just be coming back up here. Good, it stayed open. Who knows, might actually end it here. Like, not the episode, I mean the finished Coyote Pyramid in one episode. Now, we can go back there, but... I tried to engage the mummy in about a fist cuffs, but I was no match for him. Poor lad. Save time, I'm just gonna fall through. I don't think I was actually saving any time by doing that. Oh, here we go. And we're gonna have another little boss fight to finish up. So we'll save. This actually went a lot quicker than I thought it would. Totenhotep. There we go. Who dares disturb my slumber? So Pharaoh, 
Toten. Oh, tap. Not hard. And we get Toten Hotep's headdress and access to that mysterious back room. Wherein lies. When I joined the Royal Academy of Science, I had no idea I'd be fighting off mummies. Now we see all four Dr. Chandler's men and get a Mystic Aegis. A Hercule exhibit. I don't know why that's in a pyramid. An Emerald Amulet. And the Ox King's Hat. Going to... Does nothing but helps. Gets our strength up to the triple digits. I don't even know why I'm building up his power. I guess I just want him to be balanced. So now we just have to get out of Coyote Eye Pyramid. Maybe there was a quicker way to do this. Or I just add. Nah, it doesn't matter. I suppose I should have had. Oh no, I'm, I'm going the wrong way. Damn it. I did nothing but waste time there. Maybe I should have been uh, done all the experimenting in my test run back in November. See, even if I did do a test run, I probably wouldn't have memorized it because that was back in November. I don't even know why I decided. I don't. I'm not. I shouldn't even call it a test run. I was playing it for fun. On behalf of the Royal Academy of Science, I thank you. If only there was something I could give you as a token of my appreciation. And we get the Seven Star Dragon Ball. Cool stuff. All right, I'm gonna end the episode here. So, if you liked you saw, I'd appreciate it if you subscribed. If you didn't, please tell me what I could do to fix that. In the next episode, we're going to Diablo Desert. And getting the last Dragon Ball we actually need to search for. Alright, see you guys next time.